Today I'm going to show you how to wash a deck without a power washer and shit. <clears throat> Sometimes you can use a power washer. That's a good idea if you're going to strip the deck and get the old stain off. Cabot makes a good wood stripper, and it comes with a little bottle of wood brightener that you can use after you strip the wood. Generally, you just take the wood stripper and spray it on the deck, wait 15 to 30 minutes or so, and then you take a power washer and you wa and you use that to wash it, and it takes off all the old stain and everything, and then you spray it down with a wood brightener, and it brightens the wood up and it gets it ready for you to stain it again once it's dry and stuff. But if you're just trying to get the mildew off, the black off, and clean the deck off and make it look a whole lot nicer than what it is, there's no sense in going and renting a power washer or even using one if you've got it as far as that's concerned because you could tear the wood up and everything. And, and uh, when you could just take bleach and just a little bit of water. And when we wash in the house, I usually go about a quarter of a two gallon and then fill it the rest of the way out with bleach. But on the deck, we use uh, most over half of it bleach and a little bit of water like that. Now I'm gonna spray a little bit of pure bleach right here on this stain right here where there's been a bird feeder and that's gonna, um, and it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna come back here anyway and I'm gonna strip and stain this deck. But, so basically, you just put your bleach in your sprayer and, and come through here and spray all that shit on here and then once it's all sprayed down real good, you can uh, take a water hose and wash it off and shit. So, I'm gonna go get a brush and I'm gonna scrub some of these fucking hard spots right here because I know even pure bleach is not gonna fucking do nothing to that. Another thing is, if you like it, don't wear it because if you're gonna fuck it up. Get your bad clothes, some shit that don't fucking matter, and put it on when you're gonna come out here and do this. Don't you take your hat off because the wind can blow this shit back on your hat and fuck your hat up. Uh, wear some protective eye stuff like that for your eyes and everything to keep it from uh, blowing back into your eyes because the shit burns real bad. And, uh, you know, if you get it on your hands, don't scratch your nuts or your pussy or any fucking thing because it'll set your fucking junk on fire. Just fucking use good common sense and spray up, spray down your deck and every fucking thing and uh, hose it off. And and you can already see the shit's coming clear, clean right there. And if I, and after I'll, I'll post a little bit more later on, we'll fucking do another little short clip in this video of what it's going to look like when it's all done and everything. That's it. All right, now everything on here is all bleached down. And then and in some places and stuff, we took a scrub brush and you scrub it down at some of the hard spots. Now all you got to do is just hose it down with the water hose and let it dry. And the sun and the rain will do the rest, and you didn't fuck your deck up. So, you know, good thing about bleach is it kills everything. It gets all down inside the pores and everything. And then you just take a water hose like that, come back and spray it all off. Get your railings first because all that shit's going to fall back down on there. Don't let it splash up on the flowers or nothing like that because you don't want to get fucked up. You know? And uh, if you got any kind of foot fungus, the athlete's foot, any of that kind of shit like that, you can let, get that bleach on your feet and it'll fuck it all up, you know. And you can get you some monostat, some yeast inspection, infection cream and spread it between your toes. And you can be killing your foot fungus and cleaning the fucking deck at the same time. So, again, subscribe to my videos and stuff like that. That's Gigo TV. And leave a comment, and I'll get back with you. Hit the like button. Don't hit the dislike button. And uh, ask me some questions or give me some comments. And uh, tell me what you think the next video ought to be of. And uh, stay tuned for the next informative home improvement video. Good day. <laughs>